system. Eyewitness News is brought now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. Here's a full check of your forecast. We're going to look at pleasant conditions for tonight. A little bit of clouds making its way into the area later on, but no rain in sight, at least for today. We will see things change as we head into the weekend. Rainfall is coming back to the area, unfortunately. We'll see just how much rain we're going to get over the next few days. And here's a look at the next couple of days. Tomorrow, seeing some isolated activity. Really going to be getting into the later afternoon hours, maybe just some isolated activity. The best the shot's going to be down towards uh, uh, Hamilton there, but Saturday we should be a little bit more chance of rainfall, and that's going to help keep temperatures at least a little bit cooler in the lower 80s. Right now, those satellite and radar are looking pretty good. A few uh, showers off towards the west, just to the south of Buffalo, but like I said, that shouldn't really make it to our area. We should be looking nice and quiet for the rest of the evening. Temperatures are still pretty warm, though. 86 degrees here in uh, Utica, 87 in Syracuse, 88 over in Albany, so around the area, it's still pretty warm, and that will continue at least for the next uh, several days into the weekend. We'll see temperatures hanging out into the uh, lower, to upper, lower to upper 80s tomorrow through Sunday. But as we get into next week, we will see temperatures starting to cool down a little bit, getting below average Tuesday through really the end of the week. We'll see temperatures right around 75 to 78 degrees. So temperatures next week won't be too bad, won't be too bad. For the next few days, though, the rain chances, we can see our best shot tomorrow into Saturday. Right now, though, we will be uh, looking at tomorrow being the best day. Saturday, we could see things changing uh, for a little bit. But overall, the rainfall chances, they stick around, but they do start to decrease once we get into next week. So um, that's uh, something to keep in mind as we head into next week. Future cast showing things kind of uh, calming out for the rest of the night till midnight. Still looking at mostly clear skies. But after midnight, that's when things start to change, seeing clouds making its way into the area from the west. Temperatures in the upper 60s by tomorrow morning and around 12 o'clock, that's when we're going to start seeing activity in our area from Syracuse down into Norwich. And that's going to continue to move towards the northeast here in Utica, seeing some activity around 2 to about 5, 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Afternoon highs hanging out in the upper 80s. And we'll see some activity hanging out mainly for the eastern half of the area to the east of Utica for the rest of the evening, getting into late Saturday or late Friday night into Saturday morning. Now, for right now, Saturday doesn't seem too active. A lot of cloud coverage across the area and some spotty showers to the south of Utica. But as we get into the afternoon, we really haven't seen much activity popping up just yet. Maybe just some isolated showers through the area. So we'll keep an eye on Saturday for right now, though. But the rainfall uh, forecast at least has went up a little bit in Utica, maybe an inch to an inch and a half here, uh, up to an inch up to the north and Albany, still sitting at one to two inches possible. For tonight, seeing lows getting into the lower and mid 60s across the area with light southeasterly winds. For tomorrow, temperatures back up into the mid to upper 80s with a little bit more cloud coverage and showers getting back into the area mainly in the afternoon, but the showers will stick around through the weekend and into next week. Thank you, Darius. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 6. Former President Donald Trump suffers another legal setback. Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. Meteorologist Darren Schenker here with a full check of your forecast. And conditions will stay nice and quiet for tonight. Some clouds are starting to move into the area, and that's going to be the start to a lot of moisture and even some showers returning this weekend. So we will check on the rainfall amounts here in just a little bit. Here's a look at the next couple of days. As you can see, showers are in the forecast, still looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow. But Saturday, they'll cool off getting down back into the lower 80s. So we'll have at least some positive news with the temperatures in the forecast. Satellite and radar looking pretty good for this evening. Mostly clear skies right now, but you can see the cloud coverage off towards the west. It's going to continue to move into the east overnight until tomorrow morning, and that'll be the start to the kind of moisture moving into the area. For right now, temperatures cooling off pretty easily. 74 degrees here in Utica. Got some uh, lower to upper 70s still on the board across the area, but the 10-day temperature trend still keeping temperatures above average. That is through the weekend. We will see temperatures cooling off as we get into next week. Temperatures right around average on a Monday, and they'll drop below average actually Tuesday, continuing until about Friday into Saturday. So next week will be a lot better as far as temperatures are concerned, right back to where we're used to for this time of year. Rainfall chances, they are going to stick around getting into the weekend tomorrow into Saturday. But we will eventually see those uh, rain chances start to at least drop a little bit, getting to the start of the week, and we'll get back down to some isolated chances as we head into the middle part 
of next week. Now, future cash, keeping things nice and quiet for this evening. Clouds will move in later on tonight into the early morning hours, keeping temperatures in the 60s. Then tomorrow is going to be just a cloudy day, and around lunchtime, like I said, we'll see the showers and storms starting to move in from Syracuse down to Norwich, but it will continue to move towards the northeast. You can hear Utica about 1 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's going to continue through the rest of the evening, really to the east of Utica. We will see a lot of uh, showers and activity, but we will see that continue until about 10 o'clock to about midnight, still looking at the eastern part of the area, seeing some activity there. Now, Saturday morning, could still see some isolated showers in the early morning, but for right now, the activity doesn't seem as promising as the rainfall totals or the rainfall percentages are uh, showing there. We can see some isolated activity in the afternoon, but for right now, Saturday doesn't look as bad. We'll have to keep an eye on that as we head into the weekend. Forecast totals for the next seven days, about an inch to an inch and a half here in Utica. That did increase from yesterday up to the north, about a half an inch to an inch. And over Albany, towards the east, we can see anywhere between an inch to two through the next seven days. Lows tonight anywhere between 62 to about 68 degrees here in Utica. We'll see temperatures still pretty mild in the area. Winds light from the southeast about five miles an hour. But for tomorrow, more clouds in the sky, but that won't keep temperatures from rising to the mid to upper 80s. Once again, winds will be from the north about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Seven day forecast, keeping rain in the forecast. At least every day there's a chance of rain, but temperatures will cool off as we head into next week. Yeah, Darius, my umbrella is packed for the week. Coming up on Eyewitness Sports, we've got results from today's Team USA events at the Olympic Games.